It's Wednesday, it's 12 p.m. You know what it is. Welcome to the Tosca Show, episode 16! <laughs> Hey, this is Temu from Winter Sun, and you're watching the Tuska Show. And the number of the day is 16, because today is episode 16, and it is 16 motherfucking days until Tuska Opener! At this point, I don't even know what I'm feeling right now, but all I know is that I'm extremely grateful for such a great start for the Tuska Show. Thank you all so much for watching, for commenting, and for sharing. We have only a couple of episodes left, so let's make these fucking special, shall we? Right now in this episode, we're gonna show you a clip where me and our camera dude Valtteri went to Helsinki a couple of weeks back to visit one of the most known rock and roll bars in Helsinki called The Riff, which is owned by none other than UC69 from the 69 Eyes. And this is definitely a bar that you have to see and feel when you're in Helsinki for Tuska Open Air this year, right? So he was nice enough to give us a little tour of what's happening inside the bar. And as you can see in the video, there's amazing memorabilia on the wall from loads of fucking killer rock and roll and heavy metal bands. And you will definitely want to see those when you're there hanging out. So let's see the clip right now, okay? God damn, the one hey, and only, Samu. Nice to see you, dude. Nice to see you. All right, people. Right now, we are at The Riff, which is UC69's bar. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me, dude. Such an honor to have the mic. Best customer at The Riff since today one. Oh, thank you so much. And if I could ask you for one favor, do you want to show me around your bar? Absolutely, absolutely. Where should we start? Um, pretty much my um, most valuable treasure. Five Finger Death Punch, when the first time the guys were here drinking and the ba bass player, a good friend of mine, Chris, he fell in love with the bar so much that he said that he next time he wants to bring his bass guitar over here. And uh, I, w I was thinking, okay, he's drunk uh, in American talk, blah, 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 blah. But he was serious. But he said, only in here. So I gave him a pen and he drew the bass and... Uh, Research, uh, research, Chris Kyle, Five Finger Death Punch, blah, 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 blah. Year after, he's here. Okay. <laughs> and here we go. And there's quite many other treasures in here, like lots, nothing wrong with my ego, but of course my biggest picture on the wall is me, myself and I. And uh, nice pictures, unique. You can't buy those anywhere. They're like made, made by a good friend of mine, uh, most talented photographer Ville Jurikala and um, this is a surprise you didn't know that but that empty space in here that's uh, reserved for the lost society which is yeah, no uh, shit yeah, oh, yeah thank you sir <laughs> of it's course a, it's an honor course. and a privilege thank of, you of course and um, this is the um, sacred place where the magic happens as you know Jack Daniels treats us well which is pretty neat I love this guitar and uh, we have uh, such a huge honor that uh, we actually sold more, more Jack Daniels than any other bar in Finland. So they wanted to thank us by flying us over to Tennessee, to the factory, to taste the shit and all that. And uh, what I'm really proud of, we don't sell cheap shit. It's all top-notch quality stuff. and. Uh, all the best beers you can have in the world and uh what what i was thinking of when we when we started the bar is it was like in finland rock bars for me means like it's a sleazy shithole with dirty toilets and cheap warm beer fuck that i don't uh, I don't like to hang out in those kind of places. I, I wanted to combine the fancy like, and um, comfortable place with the rock and roll vibe in it. So that's why the customers are like from metal bands to business people having an after hour cocktail and all that. And um, here we go with the, um, okay, I showed you the um, five finger death punch thing. But uh, this is what I'm pretty fucking proud of. Alexi Laiho's limited edition guitar, only one existing in the world. 
so it's priceless. So uh, I was like, what, what, what can you say to that when he gave that to me? So uh, I was thinking like, hmm, how to thank him? And um, come on, I'll show you what I did. He gave the guitar and I gave him the lounge. <laughs> and um, as you can see, this is the hate lounge. And um, this table is reserved for children of Buddha from the present day to the year six, 2666. <laughs> and to, in a very polite way, fuck off, please, when the boys are back in town. <laughs> so this is for children of bottom boys. And this is where the magic happens. And um, this is what they call me, my uh, puha box in Finnish, but my fun box in English, I guess. So uh, that's for me when I'm taking it easy and uh, there's quite a lot of lot things going on here quite often and Alex is here pretty often whenever ever he's in Helsinki and uh, I think this is one of the coolest pictures if you can see from Alex you can't see his face but you can totally tell who, who's who's in the picture we have fireplace in here and uh, Right now we can't blast the music because otherwise you guys couldn't hear anything I'm talking. But uh, we have the best be general like speakers all over the place. And uh, Pink and Children of Buddha, I think it's a perfect, perfect. It's a company. perfect match. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And uh, I'm happy with the pictures. And um, as I said, you can buy those anywhere. So um, people are trying their best to steal every one of those Villa Valo pictures but uh, we, we, we kind of it's pretty 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 hard to put into your pocket <laughs> so uh, but uh, I'm happy for this bar and um, we've been around for two years and uh, and um, I'm pretty proud of it and uh, we're actually doing better than we ever expected and it, it's it's going really well I've been doing like I, I've been having my own club nights in Hamburg in early 2000, doing clubs in from Tokyo to LA and everywhere. And I've been working to other rock bars, but uh, so I kind of learned like the business side of uh, things, where the money goes, where where it disappears, and where it comes from. And I decided, okay, now it's the time to have my own bar. And what kind of a rock star is a guy who had, doesn't have his own bar? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, w when is your bar coming up? I believe it, it it will be coming up, let's say, in the next 10, 20 years. <laughs> You'll be invited, dude, for Thank the opening, for the grand opening. Thank you. May I be, p be part of it? Of course, dude. Okay, okay. All right, okay. we're joining forces okay. right now. Okay, the Lust Society Bar Associa Association. <laughs> Sounds extremely good. Wanna have a beer? Hell yeah, dude. Bielma, could we have two Brooklyn ales, please? And uh, it's funny that uh, there's not that much go advertisement going on, but the uh, word from mouth from mouth mouth to mouth is like it's pretty big. Like every every single big band playing in Helsinki they end up in here like like from from five finger death punch to papa roads prodigy like all, all these guys from matching head to to whoever like like there's so they always know the riff that's the place to go and um mm, i can't complain i'm sure you can cheers sir cheers the Riff is definitely an excellent bar, and you should all go check it out while you're in Helsinki. Only good things to say about that place, and the owner, of course, is the world's fucking best dude. So check it out while you're in Helsinki. But right now, we're gonna go on to the next portion of the show, which, of course, is we will announce who wins tickets to the hottest fucking festival this year right now! Right now I'm talking on my mobile phone because I'm in the middle of Europe during festival season with Lost Society. But right now I'm going to tell you who wins the tickets to Tusca Open Air this week. The winner is Danny High Ross. Congratulations, dude. Please send all of your information to show at tusca.fi and you will get your tickets. See you this summer, dude.
and to everyone else who's watching the show, you still have a chance to win these tickets to Tuska Open Air 2017. All you gotta do is subscribe to the Tuska Festival YouTube channel. You gotta share this video and you gotta comment down below and you'll have a shot in winning tickets next week. Good luck, everybody. Thank you all for your time. I've had a great time here today with all of you. Hopefully you had a great time. We'll see you next Wednesday at 12 p.m. But before that, it's time for the leg of the motherfucking day! <laughs> Thank you all very much. We'll see you next week. Booyah!